So what do you say to a person who does have a lot of questions and let's say they do know God and they are like struggling, like with waiting to hear from him? Um, Because I know like an easy scapegoat, even with that, is to like go to other people, you know, when God says, wait on me. So like, what do you say to a person who's like waiting or wanting to learn how to be patient and wait? for God to answer those questions? That's a good question. I think you you have to start with trust because it ultimately comes down to a trust issue. Um, My earthly father, um, sometimes when we would get in the car, I would ask, where where are we going? Like, where are we going? And like, sometimes he'd be like, don't worry about it. Like, just drive, like, just ride. And I'd just be like, all right. Like, I still wanted to know, but it was a trust I had, like, He's not going to take me nowhere crazy. He's not going to, he's not taking me to harm me or to sell me or like anything crazy. Um, So I'm good. And so it's that same thing of like, I might not have the answer I want right now, but like, if I trust you, Lord, your, your, whatever your plan is, is going to, and I'm submitted to you, whatever your plan and your will for me is will come to pass. And so I think um, that and just increasing in patience, you know, patience is a, um, fruit of the spirit and you have gifts of the spirit fruit of the spirit gifts are given fruit is cultivated so like you have to earn patience you you don't just wake up with with patience you have to pray for more patience you have to and when you pray for patience you should expect a situation that requires patience it's, it mm-hmm. it sounds backwards but it's like right. how can i get patience without having to be patient right um so yeah just trust just begin to trust in the lord and if you don't trust um like the man said, Lord, I believe, but help my unbelief. Mm-hmm. Help me in my unbelief. Help me, God. I'm I'm getting impatient because the thing is, He already knows. So for you to not tell Him is like, son, I know you're impatient right now. I know you don't trust me. You know, you you not saying it isn't going to make it less you, you less trusting of Him. So yeah, Kia, did you have anything? <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say I once heard someone say, um, while you're waiting, look for work. So, and that helped me a lot because I'm always praying, Lord, help me with my patience. And of course, I find myself being tested in patience and he's working on my patience. Um, But I've had to learn to keep moving a lot, like to keep doing what he's already told me to do. If he told me to work on this one thing, work on that thing until he gives me the next thing or work on that thing until he tells me what the answer is or um, you want, you're waiting for his answer. Go to his word, look in his word, read his Bible. Um, read what he has to say in the word keep going back but don't stop like just keep moving That's and good. he can give you your answer in the midst of whatever you're doing as long as you're just submitted to him anyway he'll give you your answer so I've had to learn to just keep pushing and just keep moving because we I feel like we all experience moments where it's like Lord where's my answer like are you gonna tell me today or tomorrow when and I've just had to submit to like, he can tell me when he wants to tell me. I, he doesn't have to tell me today. So just look for work, whatever that looks like. Do what he's told you to do. Find the next thing that he's told you to do already That's and good. just keep moving. Yeah. Bill Johnson talks about a lot about stewardship, like even even stewardship of, of God's word. So even, if, you know, the uh, like if I'm God and I gave you a word, you didn't listen to it. Would it be wise of me to give you another word so you cannot listen to that one? So sometimes he said God doesn't doesn't speak because he's already given, he's already spoken and we didn't listen. Wow. So sometimes you might have to backtrack and be like, what did he say to me that I didn't listen? Because wow. what kind of wise God would keep giving you more information knowing that you're not going to use it and that you haven't used what he already told you? That's not that's not a good steward of words. So um, that's good. Keep like keep working, keep finding what it is and the word is also that's the best thing you can do is find it in the word yo what up y'all what up um yeah any other thoughts uh not to go back too far but just on a thing of like the, the the cars and people seeking for stuff i think like i think the difference is too is like is really like a plan of the enemy and not just with like you know Mm-hmm. Um, witchcraft, like desires, like think about it. You know, it could be anything like that that feels good, yeah. right? You know yeah. what I'm saying? It, it, the end, of the plan of the enemy ultimately is just, just to to take you away yeah. 
from God. Still like, kill you know and destroy. What I'm Still kill and destroy. You know, to have you, you know, like the prodigal son, pleasure, have it all, and then just kill you. So yeah, that just just a 